All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B, Bullet RC, coming at you guys again with yet another video. And listen, man, the weekend is almost over, so you already know what that means. It's time to get into this week's Heat or Hype, where we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I want to talk about in the sneaker or streetwear world. That is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it, didn't edit it in, or it was just that. Ba su ra. That I did not want to expose y'all to it, but this week, whoo, the basura is on deck, and I'm for sure gonna be exposing you to it. As always, man, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this bit. If you are new, make sure you sub up and finesse that bell. Now, of course, today we got a lot to talk about. We got new leaks, new heat, and unfortunately. We got some Basuda definitely on this week's list. But listen, we have so many shoes to talk about. I don't want to take too long in the intro. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into it. Let's get into this week's Heat or Hype. First up, of course, this week's releases, we had two big ones. Of course, one was the Royal Toe Air Jordan 1. I dropped my full review on this shoe already. If you haven't peeped it, if you want to check it out, hey, it's there. But you guys let me know where you able to hit. I've seen a lot of commotion going on, people taking hours to get through on the foot sites. I was lucky enough to secure a size on Nike sneakers. I tried for my size 12 about three times, couldn't get it, went for another one and was actually able to get my size. So I actually did secure a W on Nike sneakers for this shoe outside of, of course, this was uh, the shock drop or the exclusive access for this shoe. So that's how I got my pair early, exclusive access Nike sneakers. But that's the first one. I talked enough about these. So let's go ahead and get to the next one. Now, the next one is the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the sulfur colorway. Sulfur colorway basically looks like uh, probably two or three other Yeezy 350s that we've already seen. And they kind of pulled this one out of nowhere. It was dropping on Yeezy Supply and um, you know, they dropped of course, you know, they sold out. Yeah, I'm just checking real quick to see what my size is going for if I was to cop them, which I'm not gonna do. My size is about 300 bucks. And uh, them Royal Toes though, them joints, um, people were trying to crack heads. They are at 293 right now, but that's just with the last dance. So if you're looking at Air Jordan ones, I've been having people question me on Twitch. By the way, I probably will be on Twitch later on tonight. Come through, the link is down below, probably around midnight. But a lot of people have been asking questions about ones. Should they buy them now? Should they wait? And um, if you want a pair of ones, me personally, I would just go ahead and try to grab a pair now. You could possibly wait to see if that last dance hype goes away and the prices go back. But at this point, they are out of here. This is another brand new one for this week. We have a Stussy and Nike Air Force One collab on the way. Now you guys can see two colorways right here. We got a black on black and a fossil on fossil. Now the most interesting thing about these shoes because obviously, you know, they're not really too crazy or out there. Not the biggest fan, but they are supposed to say Stussy on the side instead of Air on the side, on the sole, which I like that detail, that's cool. I wish the shoes actually looked a little bit better. I honestly think the fossil colorway will probably hit a little bit harder than the black on black, but we'll just have to wait and see. You got the Stussy hit on the sole, like I said, and then you have a three outlining on a swoosh or a reflective material on the swoosh right now um, I'm not really sweating these I definitely rather be looking for those black and gray spirit is gonna be dropping probably pretty soon now the next one we got I don't think any of us are really asking for but apparently next year in 2021 early 2021 we should be getting some more Air Jordan 12 lows now this first one is a black metallic gold and varsity red colorway is the color horrible no of course, it's a low. I would have rather had the mid or the high, whatever you want to call it, the regular Air Jordan 12. This one, I mean, as far as retail goes, I'm going to assume 120 to 140 since it's a low top retro 12. Um, is these really going to be selling out or flying all over the place, like going crazy? I don't think so. But again, if anything is for some reason limited, it will more than likely sell out. Right now, this is looking like a outlet special. In my opinion, though, I just gotta be honest, I was not sending in any uh, request for Air Jordan 12 lows, but you gotta keep the releases coming, and you know, that's how companies gotta do these days. Now, this is another one people were asking me about, and that is this Ghost Green Duck Camo Air Max 90. Now, the release date on these is May 15th, retail is 140. I would assume if they're limited, because they're kind of similar to the other Duck Camo infrared joints, the Atmos joints, 
If they're limited, I think these are gonna go pretty easily. Honestly, I do actually like this shoe. I like the colorway, I like the color blocking. It's kind of weird, it's kind of out there, but I can see how this look pretty nice in a fit. Again, the 15th for 140. Uh, usually I would wait to talk about these until next week, but I have some people asking about it, so just wanna update you guys on that release date. Jumping to the next one, we have another leak. Now this photo right here is the leaked image of what is the Laser Orange Air Jordan 3. Now this is supposed to be for only small feet gang, but I did see a retail price of 190. So I'm not sure if these are gonna go all the way through all the sizes, like big women's sizes, basically men's sizes, I'm not sure. To keep it a buck though, I actually really like this shoe. I, I just like the three. I like orange for some odd reason. There's a lot of orange that I wear. I don't know why. Somehow orange just makes its way into some of my fits. So I actually like this three and more than likely, I'll pick it up. I'm going to have to be paying attention, though, because if I can save some money on it, I will. Is this something that's going to sell out? I mean, it's not really like an OG colorway. It's not like a UNC3 where, oh, it has a UNC lineage. Um, if it has that same quality and structure, um, this one might have to be just an automatic cop for me. Would I like to save some money and wait? Yes. But at the same time, I want to drop the review for you guys, so I might have to just jump out the window on this pair. Now, they're supposed to be dropping in July once again, the Laser Orange Air Jordan 3. Let's get to the next one. Switching to the next one, we have another pair of Air Jordan 1 Lows. Now this is being called the nothing but net pair right now. And as soon as you see it, of course, it's similar to the sweater Air Jordan 7 for the sweater that Jordan wore in Barcelona. You guys have been seeing this picture. It's been circulating Twitter. Now, if y'all remember when the sweater 7s dropped, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I had that pair. Um, it's it's a definitely more out there colorway. The pattern is very, very loud, but it's also very, very vintage Jordan. So at the same time, I'm not sure how this one is gonna go. Um, the sweater Air Jordan 7s, I'm pretty sure that those went on sale. And these one lows, if it was an Air Jordan 1 high sweater, now, now we're talking. I would definitely cop those because I still don't own any Huxtable SBs and that would be my Air Jordan 1 equivalent. Somewhat, somewhat, not the same thing, I'm saying the same tier, but somewhat similar to the Huxtable SB. I wish this was a high top. It would be a pretty easy cop for me, but on the low top, more than likely I'll pass up on these. Now we also got some pretty interesting news this week that these are coming back. The Ultra Boost 1.0 in Core White is gonna be dropping on May 17th via Adidas. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. I wanna talk more about this next week after they do actually drop because I wanna see how they do. They will be dropping on the 17th. Of course, my pair is dirty because I cut the grass in these bad boys. Again, we're probably gonna have to cover these again next week after they drop. I wanna see if they sell out. I would assume that they would sell out, but you know, the Ultra Boost hype isn't what it once was, but I'm pretty sure the hype for this pair in general is still gonna be there. The next one we got is another collab, New Balance and Ronnie Feig. This might be a kid strike and it is on a New Balance 992 and this one is called Steel Blue Slide Bars. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I've seen GR colorways of the 992 that are better than the Steel Blue pair. Of course, this has the Ronnie Feig stamp. It will sell out, of course, especially if it's a kid strike. Um, but for me, it's not one of the strongest New Balance collabs that I've seen recently. It's honestly kind of weak. Looks like a GR colorway. Is that a problem? No, but if it's a collab, I'm expecting something a little bit better. Now on June 25th, this is a brand new leak, brand new rumor, a Varsity Royal pair of Air Jordan 3 should be dropping. These are very similar to the We The Best pair, the DJ Khaled pair. Um, yeah, they kind of did Khaled a little bit dirty with this colorway by just dropping it again. Again, it could look a little bit different, but I'm assuming it's gonna look pretty similar to these Unite threes right here. Again, June 25th is the date. The retail should be 190, just like any other regular pair of Air Jordan threes. And um, if they look good, you know, more than likely, I'll, you know, I'll probably cop. I like this red pair right here. I thought these was actually pretty dope. They look really good on feet. So I think the blue will fit the same bill. So June 25th, Varsity Royal threes. When some more photos drop, I will make sure to update y'all. Up next, we got another leak for spring. 2021 it is another pair of air drone ones and this is a high and the colorway is white black varsity gold and vault you guys can see them right here and i've seen a comment someone said the vault ruins them would i have rather just had you know university gold where the vault is yes is this pair different? Yes. But this might be a BS colorway of the Air Drone 1. That's just how I'm feeling right now. 
I do like that it's a little bit different. They're switching up a bit. Vault on the Air Jordan 1, not usual. University Gold on the Air Jordan 1, not too usual. So I don't want to count these out yet. We have a long time before we see any more info or leaked images of the actual shoe. This might be one of those bad colorways, unfortunately. We also got another Air Jordan 1 Spring 2021. This is going to be in white, black, and university blue. Kind of looks like a weird playoff of the UNC Air Jordan 1. I feel like if you own the UNC Air Jordan 1, this one is not really going to be essential. And I mean, the colorway itself, the university blue, the almost UNC aspect of it will probably sell it. But we've seen better versions of a UNC one already with the original colorway drop in. And next year, of course, I'll be looking for a pair for the review. Is it something that would stick around my collection? No, because again, I have the UNC ones already and the off-white UNC ones. I got enough UNC ones. Okay, y'all know what time it is. Let's go ahead and get to the Basuda of the week. We got three offenders this week. And the first one, y'all know I say it all the time, make foams great again. Nike said, nah, fuck all that. Y'all getting the melted Somebody skittle shits right here. These are the Planet Hoops foams. Leave the foams alone. Put them in the vault. Come back with the pearls. Come back strong, please, because these shits are not it. It's like they're trying to capture that galaxy foam feel, but there's not going to be another foam. I feel like it's going to feel like back in 2012 when that all-star galaxy pack dropped. I just don't think that same fire can be pulled for the foams. Foams are just not really that hot right now. If they not limited, these are going to be hitting some clearance stores, some outlet stores. People are going to be tweeting about it. Oh, people are going to be picking them up for cheap. That's how I feel. I would not be spending my hard-earned 250 on trash like this. Listen, let's get to the next shoe. The next shoe we got is a repeat offender, and I did get tagged on this shoe on Instagram. And again, it is from this shoe's 5.3 something brand. And this shoe cost $500. Bro, Somebody what in this. the Jinko jeans and Hot Topic is going on right here? Are they creative? Yes. Are they Basuda? For sure bro these are straight chevy tahoes on the toe bro they even got the bumper the metal bumper on the front of the toe cap these shits is looking crazy bro you looking crazy out the streets with these <laughs> like i'm sorry bro i'm sorry like i feel like these guys they have a unique look it's just that them shits is just unique in a bad way they just don't look good so for the chevy tahoe fours the jinko fives and the hot topic ones all combined together blam you get these shits right here listen we're moving on to the next one i don't even gotta say much to get in about these y'all already know the deal and the next shoe we got is actually a sample from yeezy that has already been getting clowned throughout twitter because this was just a bad photo to post and that is of the yeezy somebody did this for 51 and of course when we seen it somebody made the memes already but these joints look like dumplings bro like when i go and get the uh unlimited food at like the japanese spot the japanese grill where they got the hibachi and everything when i go there and get my unlimited meal bro these look like the gyoza that i ordered with the side of what the spicy mayo and the soy sauce that's what these shits look like bro this is a bad bad photo of the 451s and um man these shits just look crunched up scrunched up and overall just not a good way to have a shoe leak because from the top down again these joints look like straight up dumplings but listen that is it for the basuda of the week let's get back to the heat the leaks and the new shit we gotta talk about this week we got some more photos of this brand new baylor air jordan 5 i'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it i just kind of wanted to show you guys what we've been seeing and kind of quickly go through it Honestly, when the original Bel Air 5s dropped, it was a different time. Of course, this does have a good theme to it. Do I think it will sell out more than likely? Yes. Are they kind of ugly? They're, they are kind of ugly, but I don't know. I don't know. How does this shoe do in 2020? Again, the release date is August 29th for a retail of 200 and these are just the leaked images of it so far. This week, we also got a brand new leak. The Fire Red Air Jordan 3 should be returning on August 1st, 2020. Now, obviously from this picture, you guys see that something is different about this shoe. It seems that they're gonna be using a clear back tab, mixing both the Nike Air and Air Jordan branding on the back of the shoe. Of course, I have my Fire Reds right here in this box, which are still, did I wear these? 
maybe I put them on like once. I don't know. Either way, regardless, a lot of people have been talking about that Nike Air on the back, that clear back tab. Of course, would we rather just have regular Nike Air? Yes, but honestly, the clear back tab not really bothered me. I actually kind of like it. I think it looks kind of cool. I know, crazy, blasphemous to think, but it just really doesn't bother me. Of course, they don't have Nike on the back, but it's still a very, very clean colorway of the three. But yeah, August 1st for 200. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about these down below. We got another one out of nowhere this week. And remember, leak. Rumor for early 2021 retailing for 190 there could be a Kobe 6 Pro Tro Grinch. Yes, the Grinches could be returning next year. I don't need to tell you that this is a shoe that a lot of people love, a lot of people want in their collection. And at this point with the price is going crazy, they kind of have, you know, passed on it a little bit. Now with this Pro Tro, this is an instant sellout for sure, especially for the Kobe fans out there. And I don't think much else needs to be said. Of course, I'll be paying attention. And if I have any updates on this, I will let y'all know. Don't worry. The next one we got is another brand new colorway of the Off-White Air Force One. This time coming in University Gold another release for next year in 2021. Now, in my opinion, y'all know I like yellow, I like University Gold, so this is an automatic cop, and if they had that silver swoosh just like that old Complex Compare, you already know this one is a need in my opinion. I'm a Force lover, Air Force One lover. So maybe I'm a little biased, but in my opinion, these joints is fire and I'm definitely gonna want a pair. Other than that, of course, these will sell out. Heads will be cracked wide open. My head, if I don't get them for retail, may get cracked wide open for these as well. Not gonna lie to y'all, but we'll just have to wait and see until next year when they actually do drop. And to go ahead and end off this week's heater hype, we have one more story. Y'all remember when we talked about those Cassius Jack SBs? Well, it looks like they may actually be dropping. Of course, this is another rumor, but it seems that it's been reported that these have already hit production. So we could have another Travis Scott Nike SB on the way. You already know how the original ones did, and these are probably gonna do just as well. I will try again to enter the raffles at my local skate shops. Will I actually get a pair though? Probably not. But anyways, man, that is it. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course, supporters. Of course, make sure you drop a like on this bit. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Twitch. The Twitch is BulletRC, by the way. Come peep us out. We be going live here, there, blah, blah, blah of course. BulletRC, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Time for me to edit. Time for me to get out of here. Much love. Peace. Ready. If you come here and try to take some, there's a lot more where that came from, and it really ain't no thing. I got some up here in this thing. I just dropped the jig in my Red Bull, and it really gave me wings. Yeah, yeah, up and away. Y'all should have seen this shit coming in May. We're doing 300 records a day. Who really think they can get it?